Hello, welcome to your academy. At your academy today in this lecture, we would be dealing with a poem, uh, Bullocky by Judith Wright. Bullocky is a poem which is about the pioneers of Europe. Now, it is very important before we take up the text of the poem to know little bit of context of the poem because unless we know the context of the poem, it is difficult to understand the poem. Uh, properly unless you are a believer of the new criticism. So as I said that this Bullocky is a poem which talks about the pioneers of Australia. Now you need to keep this thing in mind that the contemporary Australian poets particularly A.D. Hope and Judith Wright were very much uh, you know fascinated by the past of Australia and it is reflected in their poems also the present didn't fascinate them as much as past did. They found a glorious history of Australia worth writing as compared to the present scenario of the Australian civilization. And this poem is also a tribute to all those historical men, historical settlers who went to Australia, settled there, made efforts, rather great efforts, in order to you know shape up the Australian island and make it worth the Australia that we have in the present times would be all about the efforts of the early settlers of Australia are the original inhabitants of Australia. So this poem will uh, basically deal with those men. It will tell us about those people. Now all those people who made efforts in the past to make Australia a great country are represented by one person in this poem, by an individual in this poem. And that individual is a driver of a bullock cart. Now, bullocky would be that bullock cart, you know, uh, a cart driven by the bulls, which was, you know, a fashion in the old days, in the days bygone. And one would ask a question that why would Judith write uh, make a driver of a bullock cart represent uh, the generation of those great men who put efforts to shape up Australia. And the answer to this or the argument to this would be uh, because all those men in past who have made efforts to make Australia a great nation, a great place to live, were the hard toilers, were the hard workers. And relating or making a driver of a bullock cart represent them would be just because a driver of a bullock cart is equally hard working, is equally hard toiling, is equally, you know, dedicated, is equally, uh, you know, uh, one who suffers a lot. And those, uh, you know, who uh, put their efforts in shaping up Australia also did suffer a great deal. So that is the context of the poem. Now, when we will read the text, I hope we will start comprehending before going into the detailed analysis of the poem that we are talking about a bullock cart driver and that bullock cart driver is actually a, a pioneer, a, a representative, a, a great representative of a great historical tradition of all those men who had put their efforts to make Australia a great nation, a great state. And then in this poem, there would be, you know, biblical allusions also throughout. And those allusions would just, you know, uh, transform this uh, ordinary bullock car driver into a great mythical figure so that uh, he would do justice in representing symbolically the pioneers of European civilization or the pioneers of Australia. So let's take up the text of the poem before we go into the line by line explanation of the poem. Here comes the text. Besides his heavy shouldered team, thirsty with drought and chilled with rain, he weathered all the striding ears till the rain widershins his brain, till the long solitary tracks etched deeper with each lurking road were populous before his eyes and fiends and angels used his road. All the long straining journey grew a mad apocalyptic dream, and he 
old Moses and the slaves, his suffering and stubborn team. Then in his evening camp beneath the half-light pillars of the trees, he filled the steepled coon of night with shouted prayers and prophecies, while past the campfire's crimson ring, the stark stuck darkness cupped him around, and centuries of cattle bells rang with their sweet uneasy sound. Grasses across the vacant tracks, and plow strikes bone beneath the grass, and vineyards cover all the slopes where the dead teams were used to pass. O oh, wine, grow close upon that boon, and hold it with your rooted hand. The prophet Moses feeds the grape, and fruitful is the promised land. That was the text of the poem, Bullock. Now, uh, in the next section, we will deal uh, with the detailed analysis of this poem.